It definitely feels like, I don't know. If you're if you're good, just like I don't know. You, you it's a it's like a lack of understanding, if anything. Like of what? Uh, oh, like the the the, 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 the the stuff you were saying before is like the metagame trending cringe. It's generally more of like it shifted and you don't understand it now, so like figure it out, sort of thing. I. I don't like using that as an excuse because especially right now it does not the current metagame for VGC does not feel like it's changed as much as it has been like by week by week by week you know what I mean like I feel like we're actually finally starting to slow down and I think Knoxville uh, usage is even reflecting that so I, I was noticing this when I was playing yeah. when I was playing Global Challenge last night it's not we're not slowing down in terms of archetypes we're slowing down in terms of what Pokemon are good Archetypes are still like I I can't I I don't. It's hard to name an archetype for me. Like I can't name one off the top of my head because there's like twenty five thirty good Pokemon, and you can kind of put them together in most combinations, and you get a good team spit out of it. Right now, maybe you know you throw on your niche your your Iron Jugs or 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 whatnot, but it feels I don't know. It, I can't. I can't name archetypes. Everything feels so like we have our set of good Pokemon and we don't have cores yet. But in terms of what's good, I think the Pokemon are pretty set. I what? I'm sorry. I just think the exact opposite is true. <laughs> like I think the like pool of good Pokemon to pick from, like that's I can I can kind of see where you're coming from with that and I'll agree with that. Uh where like the guys that have been consistently winning, your Landruses, your Tornaduses, your Ogre Pond mm -hmm. Waters, your Fluttermans, like, yeah, definitely, they're, they're, uh, what's the word? Like, kind of establishing themselves as consistent. I think we're yeah. learning about consistency, guys, for sure. But I don't think that's stopping anything from, like, shit like Torkoal popping up, shit like Iron Jugular oh, yeah. popping up. Because these are, I would not put those, either of those two in the pool of good mons <laughs> that are consistent. No, not by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think, I mean, it's like, Frigoref is good, just in general. Ursaluna is good because it's Ursaluna. What can take advantage of that? Torkoal, throw it on there. Like, I feel like, I that kind of just, like, disproves my point right there as an example. but. For me, it feels like the cores are more based off of we have these Pokemon that kind of work together. We're going to slap them together um, rather than this is a rain team. This is a hyper offense team. Yes. That Every, I everything agree. everything yeah. feels very mixed right now. And I kind of like it because it's fun to have to come up with ideas on the fly. Uh, like make sure your team is very general and can adjust. But also it's kind of annoying because I don't really know what's going on shout yeah. out global challenge yay <laughs> it, it it does feel very possible to mix um like uh and stuff is very homogenous right now mm -hmm. like yeah yeah it's a great word for homogenous because like you, you'll see an iron crown in dd and you'll know what that does right but then you'll see the other four pokemon on their team and it's like a like a Chimpow Urshifu, like a yeah. Riley Factura looking ass, uh, like King Gambit type spread. And I'm yep. just like, okay, what happened? Because <laughs> I knew what I it was going here? I knew it was going on for the first half. <laughs> and now it's a completely different half, uh, team in the second half. Because like, it's yeah. possible to make teams with like four Pokemon, right? And you mm -hmm. know what, like which one of those, of those uh, like uh, even me right now, I have a team or I have a like set of four guys that I know like work really well. And I'm just looking for those last two. And then there's a lot of cores of two Pokemon that are just solid together, right? That's your um, Tornado Surshifus, that's your uh, Iron Crown and Deities, that's your Chiyu Fluttermanes, like that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like that's, yeah. I don't think it, uh, this format is as necessary to, to build, like kind of maybe more how Reg uh, C was built, where it's like you need all six together. Yeah, I think that's... that's Forming what, different like trios and groupings and stuff like that, like... Because that format definitely trended towards that with the the balance team, the Tinglu Gyarados mm -hmm. uh, balance back then. Yeah, 
When things... when I think of sorry, when I think of cores, I think of like the whole team working together, like archetype. Sorry, yeah, I used the wrong like word. sword shield <laughs> type. Like, oh, this is a sun team. So there's the the chlorophyll guy. There's the follow me guy. <laughs> there's the <laughs> trick room guy. There's the torquil. There's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I, yeah, I'm with you there. Where like teams don't have names anymore. Yeah, with, like, labels <laughs> of them. Um, which I think is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But I do think that we are dangerously approaching like too much to cover territory oh yeah we're we're gonna we're gonna be here for a hot minute because i i i kind of expected this because this wave of dlc added a bunch of just good bonds like not good into any particular thing they're just very well-rounded gouging fire just decided to pop up after everyone thought it was fraudulent shout out to that guy um Raging Bolt is just good. We I saw Walking Wake. Fuck yeah. All three of them. Good. We haven't seen, we've only really seen Iron Crown, but I would not be surprised if we see the other two Robo Swords get used. Um, Like, Incineroar, obviously, I have a feeling we're gonna, someone's gonna make a Sun Team with a Venusaur on it. It's just, it's going to happen. Free Marina has been used a little bit. Like, it, it's it's just like all over the place. We we just so many good months, and then you know that's not to mention things like Glastier Spectra being legal, um, uh, the legendary birds, the dogs, et cetera, et cetera. I, all of the all of the legendaries that we're allowed to use right now that got added. Um, it's just it's just all very good. Shout out to uh actually being able to catch a cub food not in Sword and Shield. <laughs> um, Thank God. I'm. I'm so lost at what points are being made right now because it feels like I, We're I didn't I didn't understand anything of what either of you said. I'm be real. We're okay. Pokemon sucks and we like it. No, no. That's I, think, I think everyone's fine. <laughs> no, no one said that. I'm just memeing it. I, MJ just came off a, a like a rant of being bad at the game uh for a little bit and was like it's trendy towards cringe, which they tend to do, but. Also that mm. I, I think what I mean by that, it. if you want me to elaborate, is like, I, I, like when when there's too much to cover for, in terms of viable archetypes that you can expect to see at uh regional level competitions, it's like, or okay, I shouldn't say regional level competitions, but like local and regional level competitions. I mm-hmm. I play locals. I don't go to regional. Um. But if you're covering for too many things to the point where it's stretched too thin and, like, uh, some random fuck-off mon just ends up showing up. That, yeah. Like, I don't want to say isn't prepped for, because you can prep for the type of mon it is. You could prep for the strategy of Pokemon it is, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't prep for, like, haha, had this specific coverage, killed three of your Pokemon on lead, GG, shake my hands. Yeah. Like, I think you play cool. too no much counterplay to that. Ladder. That's tough. I think you play too What's much that? ladder. <laughs> Cause it sounds like ladder problems to me. You know what I mean? It yeah, no, it's a hundred percent ladder problems. You know what day it is today? February third is Glamora Day. National use Glamora <laughs> on ladder day. And it turns out my team has a very glaring Glamora weakness. Uh oh. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> the global challenge is also happening right now. I don't think you registered for it, but I'm I'm feeling that. No, I'm feeling that I don't know what I'm looking at right now. What I got my ass handed to me. I got my ass beat by it was Terra Ground High Horsepower Backs. Um, and then in another game, it was Terra Water Waterfall, not even Choice Banded Dragonite. I would not be surprised if his ass was Mystic Water. It was doing too much damage. <laughs> I think it was. I, I remember watching this at you were streaming it. The, the waterfall yeah. did like a hell of a lot more than the E Speed did, and I was like, what? <laughs> it it was the strangest. It's just weird. And I it was so weird because the beginning of this format, everyone just used their teams from last format, which usually doesn't happen. Like People we would still see are. what's, ha- <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we would see what's happening right now, usually at the beginning of a format. Now we have it backwards, where we're getting, we're we're using all of our new toys a little bit later in, which is interesting. Um, but I think that's definitely what happened. I th- I, I think we still ha- have so many new toys and there's so many good pokemon once stuff starts settling into archetypes and people find a way to make teams that cover each other perfectly then we'll start having it'll be a lot easier to prep right now it's a lot more important to have a team that can adjust well which is why i'm a balanced brian right now because Uh, you cannot go wrong 
with with pivot, with multiple forms of speed control, with fake out. If you can maneuver around multiple things, you know, it sucks because you're stretched too thin. And instead of like guaranteed beating X, Y, and Z like super hard, you're kind of beating everything well enough. Um, but I feel like that's the only way to go, I guess, positive because you're going to fight more stuff that is different than similar. Yeah. It, does that make sense? <laughs> it does make sense. And I think it, the reason as to why balance is trending up right now is been like as is as prominent as it is, is because like it is the widest blanket that you can cast, mm-hmm. right? It's the widest net. Uh, I think my biggest fear with the f- potential future of the format is if the net needs to be cast wider then more holes start to open up to where like little random weird things can pop up and be like ah ha ha this beach just beats your whole team it's like okay well <laughs> cool awesome <laughs> yeah i mean we're we're going to have that it's it's going to happen but it's not going to be a situation where it's like you're fighting 20 of them you're you're going to fight maybe one and that just kind of always happens and I think that speaks to Balin's point where it's like, if I'm playing too much ladder, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that is the place where you do fight too many of them. You know what I mean? That's not going to, in a, in a regional, yeah. you're not going to fight too many of that, right? Balin, you yeah. just recently competed at Melbourne Regionals. Yeah! Uh, right, right before the event, you were like, damn, I kind of get fucking owned by our Shaladon. I, I feel right? like, yeah, I I don't know. I think I, I've, I haven't played much Pokemon recently before entering the regional, and honestly, it's like, Stuff feels a lot more, uh, less daunting when you don't have to think about, like, so many archetypes and stuff. I feel like mm. I have an idea of what to prep for, and then, like, I run on fundies, and that's pretty much it. Like, what what goes well into this, you know, I, I search up some calcs, like, beforehand, and then, mm. yeah. Because, like, I don't... I'm sitting here, and I'm like, I haven't played the game much, and I don't know what you're, to- you're fucking talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not to, like, you know... Not to invalidate your yeah, point like because it. you're you you're obviously playing more than me, so it's like something I don't know. I, I I think I just have like a different outlook on how the game works, just based on like me playing the game and how I think about the game. Um, yeah, everybody's perspective on the game is going to be very different, right? I I grind a lot of best of one ladder because I know my locals are best of one, so I, my perspective on it is very skewed towards just that like type of see, practice so. see i'm a i'm a very much a i go in with a ge- like with a game plan and then i adjust the team according to like what what what's what's beating the game plan and how do i adjust the team to have like better merge to deal with that sort of thing it isn't like a uh i don't know how to describe it but i had a point but i blanked Anyway, I used Iron Valiant oh, this really? weekend. <laughs> and that's awesome. We love right? Iron Valiant. I think it probably stems from me being an offense player more than anything, because a lot of the time uh, it's just like, I have a set of tools to just destroy stuff, and then uh, if something doesn't destroy stuff, I try to adjust the team so it can destroy the other stuff, while also keeping its mm-hmm. like general tools Identity. intact. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, I used Iron Valiant at Melbourne Regionals yesterday. I only, I went positive, I went 5-4, uh, like I said, I haven't played the game ages, and I was using Iron Valiant, so I'm happy with my run. Yeah, Iron uh, Valiant, I, I did not expect to have sauce. It went, it, it had sauce, and you were doing really good, and you were saying, like, Melbourne is behind, like, you were prepping for what we're seeing right now at Charlotte. <laughs> Yeah, pretty Knoxville. much. Or Knoxville, uh, not Charlotte. Oh yeah, I mean, my bad. I I saw like Ting lose on the rise, and that's like something like we've saw the senior over the past like week or so. Um, hmm. like Ting Lu, uh, gouging though. fire hasn't gone anywhere. Um, but apparently, uh, Australia is like two weeks behind because I I ran into a lot of. A Caledon, I ran into a Roaring Moon, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, Fl- Chiyu Fluttermain team, which is, like, that's, like, that's, like, Reg E stuff. Mm. We're, we're in, like, Reg F now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Reg F, sorry, that's, like, Reg E stuff, like, huh, what's going on here? Um, hmm. I ran into 
Reggie Steel, which I I like. That that was good. There were a lot of instances <laughs> where like I had to deal with similar situations to like the gouging fire, like Tingler, King Gambit sort of stuff, but it wasn't that, which was annoying because I thought people would be running that, but they weren't. Um, yeah. So bad medical. I forgot that Australia was a couple of weeks behind, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that kind well, of makes okay. sense, descending on... Yeah, that kind of makes sense, considering that we're, like, pretty, uh, what do you call it, isolated in terms of VDC stuff, which sucks, mm-hmm. because it's, like, they, I've been saying this all, like, week, it's, like, damn, they hate us, like, the Pokemon <laughs> Company International hates us, because we don't have, they took away IC. We don't even get a stream for our regional. This sucks. This is awful. Yeah, yeah, no. There there was it, it was fucked up that it wasn't stream. Because I completely forgot that it was even happening. I I was like, uh, I I felt so bad. Cause like I wanna see what that metagame also is like. It oh. I wanna but yeah, know. No, it was a lot of fun. Despite not playing for two weeks, I had a lot of fun. And I think I might go to more tournaments again, smile, because yeah. Yay! But yeah, uh, put it put it on your list of potential uh, anti anti meta um, stuff. Uh, coaching Kim Gam- King Gam- not King Gambit. Coaching um, uh, Iron Valiant, Iron pretty Valiant. good. Pretty good. I ran it on like an Iron Valiant. Is Iron Valiant with like Chente, Ergopon, Wellspring, um, Tornadus, and Frigoroff. Hmm. I don't. I feel. I feel like. I don't know. Coach, coaching feels so underexplored because it felt so good in Dynamax and I know that that was mostly because there's so many stat boosts in Dynamax but I feel like it should be better in a non-max format, right? It, like a plus one it, attack, plus one defense is more impactful I think it, I think right it is. I think it, I think it is, yeah. I was yeah. Just saying, I think yeah. it is. Look at, look at uh, Gouging Fire Click and Howl. You get another yeah. boost on top of the attack boost with coaching? Good yeah, God. Yeah, your defense <laughs> boost. Yeah, dude, the amount of times I, I was running like a choice band at Ente, uh, Choice Band Entei plus coaching Iron Valiant is actually, like, insanely strong. Like, you coaching your own uh, Entei and then click, like, a Sacred Fire into something, and it's it's getting exploded. I did, like, mm-hmm. um, because I'm running Terra Blast, uh, Terra Fairy on mine. Um, I did, like, 40 to a Don Dozer, like, at plus one with a Choice Band, which is, like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> I think that was boosted Dondra there. Um, but yeah, it was like, I don't know, it's, it's just insane. Like, doing it next to, like, a GM power as well, like, Sacred Sword doing more, Ice, Ice Spinner doing more. The amount of times I click Coaching Ice Spinner into a Moongus to guarantee the KO uh, yeah. is insane. Like, they didn't have a ter- their Terra, so they didn't, like, get, they couldn't, like, Terra Water or anything. So it's like, I don't know. It's a lot of fun, especially, I, I think there were, like, so many games where I just carried the game, where I just continuously click coaching into my Entei or Ergopon, and then it swept the, their entire team. Like, I just clicked Sacred Fire, and, like, Ivy Cudgel, and it just worked. It was insane. Yeah. yeah. It, it it just sounds good. It's it's what Hal does, but now you're getting defense boost on top of it. Yeah. And... But- Iron Iron Valley is so silly. I like it having. I like it being viable. It makes me very happy. <laughs> I didn't face a single uh, through single strike. Was another reason why I ran Valiant. Uh, you didn't fight any of them. No, in nine rounds is so crazy. Yeah, no what? single strike Urshifu. <laughs> no, uh, Ursa Luna, Blood Moon. Um, I faced two different Sun teams, which is crazy. Wait, uh, what did they look like? Because I'll be running Sun right now. <laughs> it was like. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't great. I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't. Okay, it wasn't bet, great. Bet. So when by sun you mean Torkoal and chlorophyll user, <laughs> asterisk god chlorophyll user, because vile plume might be included. In no, something. not not even that. It was like nine tails and like it had like two like three paradox mons and then a couple other guys and it was like yeah, probably not probably not the greatest. I'm real, but. Ente kind of carried that matchup anyway. I use Sacred Fire everything to death because none of the mm. none of the Sun Mons in question, apart from uh, Nine Tails, were Fire types. It was it was it was weird. Um, but yeah, like no, I I faced no Gouging Fire. I faced no Single Strike Urshifu. It's like my my whole purpose of running Iron Valiant 
wasn't even, like, good. Like, it wasn't validated at all, except for in matchups where I just... Like, it... My reasoning wasn't validated, but I was still validated for running Iron Valiant regardless. Um, mm. Which is crazy because, uh, so my record is 5-4. I, I started off round 1 and round 2 with losses. So I, I started up from 0-2 to 4-2 until I got my, the, uh, my third loss. She made the god run. Yeah, oh damn. My god. <laughs> Dude, if I if I just I honestly I think if I had won against that one uh, Archeladon team, uh, I probably could have like run it. I think I would have I could have made day two like pretty pretty easily. As I was like the one hurdle, and I I wasn't able to get past it unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I realized like before the tournament, I was DMing MJ, and I was like. I kind of auto-lose to Arkeldon, and felt like, no, 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 you've got Sacred Sword, and you got to you can you rely on Sacred Sword, and, like, you can do that, but then, uh, still got smacked by, by Terra Flying Terra Fairy guys, they just have to hold their Terra until they're, they've been hit enough that, um, oh. hit enough that Sacred Sword isn't doing anything. Mm hmm So. Damn, uh. I definitely threw in Builder for you because I was like, no, I think you should run Tim or uh, uh, Jolly Chimpo. I feel like you need the speed if you only have one guy that's at 205. Hmm. Might be if you were adamant, you might have killed. <laughs> oh, even my, oh, yeah, my round one, uh, I faced a, like, that was the Roaring Moon Chiyu team. Uh, I lost a match because my uh, Sacred Sword didn't KO a Roaring Moon at 60. Uh, oh. So, yeah, maybe I should have been adamant. <laughs> I, I was actually talking to one of my friends, Ryan, um, and I was like, yeah, I'm jolly on him. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, you should be adamant. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, Bobby. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I, I should have made the decision to change it to adamant anyway. So, uh, But yeah, I, I, I'm still happy with my run. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of this team, and I think it needs some tweaking because I didn't bring Fruger up to a single matchup. Um, mm. Well, you also just said you didn't fight any Blood Moon ever, so that too. So that's nuts. That's fuck because that's a that's a North American as fuck Pokemon. <laughs> oh, well, to be fair, I did lose my first two rounds. So most of the like my next couple of games were facing like kind of like weird teams. Like mm. true, true. Especially after the second loss. Yeah. Yeah, I. This is my why I wish it was streamed. <laughs> My my third uh my third matchup was into like a uh Oricorio as buff for a team with Yo! like a bunch of dancing mons on the team. So like they they had Baton Pass and Quiver Dance and then they had a Gyarados with Dragon Dance with the Oricorio and they did Baton Pass it to the Espafra. Um it's kind too, of too, fire though. Too bad I got a choice planted Ente with extreme speed. <laughs> Ooh. Uh so I just like did for the priority spam thing and ended up winning. So um, that'll do it. That'll yep. that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that, that happened. To, that that same like concept happened to me where you don't like don't start well, and then your next opponent is just like, you know, maybe on their first regional or something, or just like kind of there to fuck around. Uh, <laughs> I remember in Sword Shield first tournament uh, I was at. I was in a similar situation. They had a double. <laughs> Y'all know what Yo. double is? The fucking it, it has Wulu evolution. <laughs> yeah, cotton. We love guard. double. <laughs> cotton guard body press stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds about like right. Durant max steel spike one hit KO'd it from full HP, and they were like, <laughs> "Dang, that's strong." And I was just like, "Yeah, man." Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a little silly. But yeah, uh, Pokemon, good. I'm feeling positive, honestly. Like, yeah. I do as well. I, 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 as much as I'm like baby raging and like memeing sometimes, I do still have a lot of fun with this format. I can't wait to go to my next, next local. It's just, don't have a team right now. And that's the hardest part. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think also that's another thing. You go laddering and then you're using, like, you build a team and you think it's good. I mean, you go to ladder and it's just like, it's it's Glamora hour and your and your team is yeah, very good right literally, now. Yeah, literally, 
Literally. And so it, 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 I'm probably not going to fight more than one Glamora at my Chicago local, so maybe I shouldn't give a shit. But, like, it still feels not great when it's like, damn, they threw the Pokemon out on lead and I folded. That's tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Cause, uh... cause I'll ask you this, because another friend was, like, talking to me about this, and I'm just like, I do think there's a difference between, like, having a bad matchup versus a team, because I think Archaladon versus you, Balin, is, like, what I would call a bad matchup, because it's not like it felt just Archaladon hit the field, game instantly ends, right? Like It, it, it felt winnable. You were close. Yeah. You were, Yeah, it felt winnable. Like, that's mm-hmm. a bad matchup to me, still f- is able to feel winnable. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like Groudon versus Kyogre type vibes where it's like, yeah, I, sure, they hit me super effectively if they win the Weather War and I die, but like it, I, the fact that I can win a Weather War is like, okay, wait, yeah. maybe maybe there's a chance, right? I like that feeling where a bad matchup is like that. I don't like a fucking, because I also don't believe in an unwinnable matchup, but I don't like a matchup where it's like, it feels unwinnable. They just have a guy that kills three mons before I get to do anything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that mm-hmm. that type of shit to me is like, wow, something's wrong with my team right now. If that's yeah. a Pokemon that exists out there. Um, yeah. It's and like... especially when that guy is in that, like what we were talking about earlier, that like, cloud full of good Pokemon, like consistently performing Pokemon. Like Lamora is one of those. I would, I would call it that guy's up there. Uh, so to like, to have a worse than bad matchup into that is like, yikes. I don't know. Go back yeah. to the drawing board. Something's wrong with the team. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that's been my building process as of late, where it's like, most of what I'm doing by mashing on ladder is collecting data of like, okay, I think this core of three Pokemon is really good and strong and like functions into most things right now. What am I super weak to? And then that will tell me what I need my last Pokemon to be. Yeah. Or like, uh, next, like, synergy on the team to be. Yeah. Um, and I think, I, like, I've proved myself that this is a good thought process on how to team build because I got two fourth places at a at a double header. So yeah, I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. that. <laughs> the old balance team that I was uh, using there mm. was made off of that uh, like principle. Right. right. It's like, hey, what's being used right now? Back then, it was uh, Alexander Hill's D Force team with the Chimpow D Knight. The beginning mm. of the format, priority spam yeah. shit. Yeah, I was like, okay, Ferrigraph's definitely really good. And now, flash forward to now, everybody know about Ferrigraph, so it's like, okay, maybe Ferrigraph is not as much of like a surprise pick as it once was, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So it's like, the rest of the guys have to reflect that. So it's, I really think that finding the, like the, I want to call it a narrative to the format will definitely help improve team building a lot because it's like, if you get to, if you start to see the through line of like where the format started, looking at like, like you said, Ash, where people were still using their same team from Reg E, yeah. or the fact that Landorus caught on at the end of Reg E and, st- and hung over into the beginning of Reg F, and now mm-hmm. Landorus is... I, I call Landorus I like the, the progenitor of this format. Everything uh, happened because of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I just think it's cool to see like the, the format evolve and adapt like that. What, I'm, what I was like trying to talk about at the beginning, and I won't dwell on it more than I am now, but like more just so trying to say... like Yeah. I really hope that that narrative continues to stay like present where it's still through line and not just a, Oh, we could just use whatever the fuck we want. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that one of the I, sword shield formats felt like that. <laughs> I feel like, like that's something that only really occurs when you play like ladder too much. I think if you, if you're like looking at tournament results, I think there's like a clear sort of like what is good and then you can sort of use that to adapt to okay this is also like this is what beats this and then you try to like top like while also using good stuff like not good stuff but like the like you build a team to beat what's going to beat what one last tournament while also sticking to what was good that tournament so you have a matchup into that as well uh Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, that's where I failed, because I forgot that Dark Eldon was meta-, meta to begin with, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. For a little bit. Died, I don't think it was... Like... It was weird, It was weird because I don't think he was very meta. I think he was, He had a splash. He was like, today is this, uh, our Chaladon tournament, and then it did. N- it put up no paper. It stacked yeah. no paper, got no results, and it was like, ouch. Yeah. I, I, but I'm it was still to... used for a while. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't. I haven't been following like results or anything for um Melbourne since I left yesterday. So I'd be interested to see. 
I know that uh, Roaring Moon team won, but I want to know, like, the rest of the, the top cut, you know? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But Top Cut Explorer has an updated... And Victory Road is slow. Everybody hates Melbourne. Mel everybody hates... Uh, every everybody hates Australia. Australia is... It this is so fucked up. What? Let me look at the... Let me look at the top. Let me look at the, t the top. The top guys. <gasps> let me in! Let me in! Because I am curious yeah. of, of, of what happened in, like... What, what sucks is because it's not streamed, it probably won't impact the meta overall, but just to see what they're cooking, because, you know, it, 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 it does feel like they're behind, but there also could be a branching path here. Branch <laughs> There's a different yeah. line of fate over this way in Australia, Yeah, uh, I... where, where it develops a bit differently. Yeah, we are, we are a bit weird. We... Australia tends to it tends to trend towards like check room and stuff, which is kind of kind of weird. But I didn't face uh, any of that. I was some, I was I actually talking to somebody at the to at the event, and I was like, it's kind of weird because I I haven't really faced any of the people that I know know. It's like it's mostly it's a bunch of like like it feels like I'm either facing like randoms in quotation like people who like just showed up to the tournament with like their wacky teams. Um, mm -hmm. And like new people, like uh, there's people that have it, know other people that I know, uh, but I don't know them. And it's like, oh, this is like these are like newer players, or it's just like somebody I've never faced before. Um, mm -hmm. or like, it, so like it felt kind of weird because I'm normally like a another thing of me bringing figure up was because I knew that like people tend to trend towards a uh, trick room in Australia. So it's like, oh, I better have a good trick room matchup. And I didn't face a single trick room team. Yeah, so. that's, I hate it when that happens. But it's also a regional, so it's kind of be, to be expected. But also, uh, I think I put myself in like, in terms of like, knowing what people are running because I went O2 like to begin with. It's like, I shouldn't really, I, that gets sort of thrown out the thrown out of the the system oh, no. or whatever that's that's really true i've never really thought about that right where like what your predictions going into a tournament are are dedicated or like or are um either validated or invalidated based on how you start the tournament yeah right because like maybe you would have fought all the matchups you would have seen if, if like you started 1-0 versus 0-1 like that's a very <laughs> different dynamic like I I I it sounded for like a, a domino effect of like I don't lose I I care that Roaring Moon I have a chance of winning the best because that was game two and they they were up a game so like if I end up winning that best of three I um I don't face the second round of Arkeladon and I face something different maybe <laughs> than I was actually expecting and then the tournament run maybe goes a little bit better, and I don't feel like I'm on a lifeline the entire time. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. Um, How did that feel, by the way? I have to ask, because I've never, at first I never felt, experienced that, and it's it feels... It sounds like it feels crazy. <laughs> looking... Because my third round was, like, the weird Oracorio team. I sort of, like, looked at it, and I was like... Is this either going to be, like, the easiest thing ever, or um, I'm going to have the most horrible time, and I'm going to want to leave immediately? Because I, 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 I said, that, <laughs> I said yeah. that to MJ in DMs, like, throughout the tournament. I was like, okay, I, I lose, I'm leaving. I have, I, I want to get that, I want to get the new Persona game, I've got a video to edit, I've, <laughs> I want to hang out with the homies, uh, I've, there's extra work in Splatoon at the moment that my friend wants to play, um, I've got so much shit to do, I'd rather not spend it here if i'm down or three um no but i won but i won you you, you came and back i kept on winning and then i kept on winning i won four <laughs> times before i lost another game and, I, and for a second there i was like yo i can fucking do this and after yes. i lost i was like i hummed and hard and i was like you know what should should i should i leave or should i just um should i just you know continue the tournament and see how I go. Uh, mm -hmm. And I sat there, and I, I I was like, I'm gonna go. 
and then I said, and then I, I, I had a moment of hesitation. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to DM MJ heads or tails. And then what MJ did was decide which one was me leaving. And then I got tails because MJ, <laughs> uh, MJ got ta it said tails and I got tails. And then I was like, okay, I'm leaving. And then I had another moment of hesitation. And I was like, you know what? I'm hesitating so much. I may as well just stay. And yeah. I did. And I played it out. And it was pretty cool, man. I got positive. <laughs> This is a no, lot of yapping for for a five four, sir. No, no, uh, listen. Five fours. Don't don't shit talk no. five four. That's the only thing I've ever got at a regional. Don't don't shit talk me. Don't <laughs> don't don't ever don't ever five four is so going positive as a regional is fucking hard. I know that we see a lot of the bigger players of, of you know. Oh damn it! I went I went six three. I can't make it to day two. Whatever. Um, but. It is seriously difficult to th there's 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 a gap. It is very hard. You don't really realize how good some players are until you realize how difficult it is to to day two regional. So po positive is always my goal at a regional, and I feel like it's a very high goal for me personally. <laughs> so mm. anytime someone goes positive, I'm like fuck yeah, that's that's fantastic in my opinion. Because yeah. it's it's one, it's long. It's so hard to focus. Um, and also, two, you started off bad, and instead of just going like, ugh, I don't feel it, I should just go home, you decided to keep going, and it, it worked in your favor. So th that's yeah. a whole other part to it. To me, that's honestly more impressive than win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, lose one <laughs> which is what I did at Peoria <laughs> to get 5-4. No, no, that, that, that also just happens, you know? That's just how it be. It, it's it's the, the video game's fucking hard because you have to account for one it's long two you probably didn't get much sleep last night because you had to get up at you know seven in the morning and your sleep schedule is probably not correct because you're either a college student or you work yeah. um <laughs> and then you have to deal with rng you have to deal with getting tilted you're socializing the whole time which is also making you more tired it's hard to focus because it's fucking loud in there you're having to stress you know and then there's the game kid dc and be fucky wucky and whatnot i don't know so yeah, that's, that's I think, think that I think it's good. was yeah yeah I think that's something that's interesting. I actually didn't tilt at all the entire day. Oh no! Nice. I I'm tilt, which is something like I don't think I've ever t I don't think I really tilt at Pokemon tournaments, which is something interesting. Yeah, I, I feel think it's kind of like it, with from my own bias. I think it's kind of hard to, but for me, I have literal like giant groups of different homies at every mm -hmm. event like so it's like after every loss i'm not even thinking about the loss i'm thinking about the fucking like cool shit that's going on around yeah. me and 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 that's what's so fun is that even if so so there's like three situations everyone's doing everyone in your group is doing great everyone you know is doing great fantastic you're doing shit but everyone in your group is also doing shit okay well now we can all be sad together even if you do yeah. shit and everyone else around you is doing good if you like these people, it's still fun to, like, cheer them on the rest of the tournament. I've done that many yeah. times. And it's oh, still yeah. fun. Because sometimes the video game isn't video gaming. And you just decide it's a spectator sport now. It's just that easy. Now I'm watching. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. for me, a lot of my, like, thought processes about going into a regional has been... Uh, like, I've been way more analytical about my building recently mm. than I have my play. Because I, I proved the fuck out of my play. Yeah. And, at my last local i was like dude i can play the shit out of this game <laughs> like it really all is just the team for me if i don't have the right resources uh that i need as a player to get through a tournament mm -hmm. that's that's really why i think i keep 5 4 in these regionals right and i think like marcos is probably also feeling this as well um i mean he was doing how shit in uh sword shield at the beginning with devil <laughs> Flash forward to right now, and he day twos with Howl gouging fire in a Tinglu. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like every player has their own toolkit mm -hmm. that they need their team to reflect. Mm -hmm. Like, Balin, you were talking earlier about like offense is your comfort, right? Like, I think building to a comfort and making sure that that is a part of the uh, pre planning going into the regional. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Isn't no doubt all of us can play. All of us can play this game really fucking well. Well, but I, yeah. I, do, I do think that this, like, a majority of it is finding what resources you need as a player at the regional. Anyway, so, so Spear Tomb. <laughs> Didn't you 5-4 with Spear Tomb? <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, oh, okay. Did I go 5-4? 
I think you did. <laughs> None of us have gone negative okay, at well, any that of these was, Gen was, 9 local That was Reg A Series 1 whatever. I got away with shenanigans. But Actually, you don't give yourself enough credit. What? What? I'm not... Oh. <laughs> I'm not that great. You're then you're shooting shots at me credit. because you've you've six three to regional. I have never done that in my life, so I guess that. Must Were be we not shit, just talking right? about like, how fucking hard it is to even top players can't day two regionals most of the time? Speaking of, Marcos day two in his first regional. Marcos yeah, is better oh no. than all of us. <laughs> Look, I didn't say that. Like, no, no, I, I wasn't talking about day two. I said you six three, and I've never done that. Hey, hey, hey! Stop the flag tag. We're, we're trying to, we're trying to, <laughs> we're trying to pull you up. We're trying to compliment you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was no, hey. no, no. Here's here's where I am. Here's where I am. When I when I went, uh, what was it? Five three, I think. I went five three or five four or something. I was at the top. I was the number one bestest five four. Oh no, I was four five. I was the best damn four five. In existence, because I had to fight Emilio Forbes and like a bunch of other people, who were, like <laughs> six yeah. and zero, oh, seven and zero, oh, whatever. Then the next regional I went to, I was six three, but I was the very bottom, shittiest six three out of all of them. Okay, I'm 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 in I'm average. Resistance, resistance I'm, does not matter. At I'm these regionals. perfectly nope, at all. average. Nope, nope, nope. nope it nope, was nope, because nope. I fought in nope. Ampharos the time I went six three. I'm in the middle. I'm nope. in the middle. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, nope. cool. You clicked. You fought an Ampharos. Oh, buddy. I like clicked six Arcarier. hyper... I clicked six <laughs> hyper beams on some motherfucker. That does not happen in a normal VGC game. But so, like, you won. We all get... We all get one of those. But so, like, you won. But you won. With the hyper Yeah, did you... Or did the Ampharos beat you? No. Like, <laughs> that's, the, that's the point. You... You're, Nope. Your Goofy was more powerful than the Ampharos Goofy. By the way, this is no shade. I respect everyone who's trying to run plus minus Ampharos next to Toxtricity. I've seen it like three times. All of you are, are goaded. <laughs> All of you. Nope. 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 I nope. Do Stop deflecting. Genuinely... You're awesome. I'm not Stop deflecting! Cool. I like Ampharos! Nope. I, do, I do genuinely <laughs> think that the like gap from... And I, I'm so curious to talk about to Marcos about this. Oh, yeah. Uh... Considering he's the first of us to day two something. Yeah, and we're recording... Because I do think all of us are right there, guys. Like, literally... Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We're getting there. Right fucking there. We're, yeah, we're I... recording right now, um, Saturday night. Uh, Sunday night for Balin because Australia. But you, we, we just finished day one of uh, Knoxville. So we don't know what the finals are yet. Yeah. D like... Don't, like... It, it, me and Raiko, like have won locals and stuff before like and do like done really well at locals and stuff like i y'all do good at locals a ash ash has the most stacked region of all time so uh i have i have gone po i went positive at a regional before i went positive at a local sips water <laughs> that's <laughs> That, kind of th like, you gotta understand that half of America can't say that, right? Like, that's <laughs> so fucking awesome. No, that just proves how- th Listen, I can never top 16 or top 8 SoCal, because the top 16 and the top 8 of SoCal is the same top 16 and top 8 every time, and they're also almost always day 2 -ing. They're scary. Yeah, I was gonna it's say, scary it's also here. the fucking, like, you're also talking about top 10 NA players in general. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's scary here. I went on stream versus Geo one time. Shit my pants. <laughs> yeah, like your top sixteen is like people of all one regionals. Like it's okay. Like, uh, well then we also, but then we also have it's SoCal's great. Don't be afraid. Come to SoCal regionals if you're in SoCal because we've also have like four people who run Mono type every single event. We're fun. I promise. It's just it is hard to top cut. <laughs> Unless you Locals. smurf the fuck. We had a week. Sorry, quick side tangent. We had a, a whole week of locals. Uh, Tuesday through Sunday. Um, there was a local every single day at the same time during, I think, the week after Christmas. Because uh, Christmas was the Monday. Um, and somebody was so genius. It was, I think it was Riley and Gio who were trying the hardest to get points. So they were going to every single one. This guy showed up with a hail team. With bundle that perfectly countered both of their teams <laughs> trying to swoop it. It didn't work, 
but I highly respect that. That was beautiful. Just, just, and then I had to fight Snow Bundle, which is a lot bulkier than you expect. I did not like that. Anyway, sorry. Tangent over. <laughs> I haven't seen Iron Bundle in a long ass time. And honestly... He's on vacation. Good. He's on vacation. I'm glad I'm glad he's on vacation. Oh, that's, actually, that's adorable. <laughs> I need to see him like on the beach somewhere yeah. chilling with sunglasses. Well, he's totally on vacation. It's no, he's not... Once, when when Maridon comes out when and Maridon, it's restricted... And when they give us Tapu Coco be... in, in raids, Copium, um, he'll, yeah. he, he's when gonna he... come back. When he needs to outspeed Kyogre in Tailwind. Yep, yep. He will, <laughs> it's, he will return. That's what he's there for. They need My people need Zemiru. me, and he goes down the sand with his little skis. I need to bring back Zemiru so I can run Mirada and Alolan Raichu and start to box up a people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're so real for that. You're so was, real for that. I wish. A, I, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, me, it, it, um. The guy in like our region, he's called Nicholas Bingham. He's such he's like I don't I don't know him personally, but every time I'm like, I I somehow always gravitate towards him. Uh, whenever like in between rounds, we'll like always be seated next to each other, mm. uh, somehow, and we're always just like fucking chatting it up, and it's always funny. Like we won't be even facing each other, but we'll be like chatting to each other mid round sometimes. <laughs> Like as long as like the uh, his opponent is like chill with it sort of thing yeah, yeah. um that's funny and and we we're talking about like when Maridon comes out and he's like you know they should add Zemus back to the game so we just <laughs> and I'm like yeah hell yeah paralyze stuff through protect um, woo but we yeah need, no um, I need a Lolan Raichu to get the Komo'o treatment and just get a signature move that has like a similar effect to the Z move. It's sacred fire, but special and electric type. Thumbs yep. up. Thumbs up. Ooh, that'd be fucking awesome. Holy shit. I miss Pancake chance, Man. 50% chance to, to paralyze. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel... I'd okay. be chill with that because it would mean I'd get to fight Raichu. And I'm like, yes, bring on Raichu, please. <laughs> A little on Raichu. Yeah. You think the, the, the Raging Bolt uptick, if, if, like if it does well day two, do you think we'll start seeing Raichus? I think we'll start seeing Raichus. What, like, oh, that regular, could be interesting. Uh, yeah, Terra, like, Terra Fairy Lightning Rod guy to hard wall Raging Bolt is kind of yeah. hilarious. Not I do think <laughs> I wanted to... I was thinking about this earlier when we were talking about, like, uh, metagame, like, formation and, like, how it, like, weaves and, like, changes over time. I think Raging Bolt is a really good example to look at to see, like, just how, like, what the metagame is now versus what the metagame was, like... Look at look at a day one raging bolt set, and now look at a current raging bolt set. Yeah, day one they were doing leftovers with a Rillaboom, calm minding thunderclap, dragon pulse, protect, maybe a booster energy or some shit, right? Terra grass to avoid exploding the Lando. What the fuck what we're doing right now? We're putting a soul vest on there, Terra electric to make <laughs> thunderclap and thunderbolt strong as shit, yep. and then snarl. After you drop yeah. a Draco Meteor, because it's like, okay, shit, I dropped Draco. Uh-oh, I can't do damage. Well, maybe I can do damage, because I'm Terra Electric, so my electric moves still do damage. Yeah. And it's Snarl? Snarl, you don't need to do damage in general. That's, yeah. that's just... Look, look that at its stat effects, spread. So. Like, you see the high HP stat, you go, ooh, bulky. No, anytime I see a high HP stat, shit defense stat, I go, okay, I'm going to hit, like, a truck, and I'm going to have just enough HP to take two hits. Just enough. That like like that's the that's the Ursaluna way. Like he's got just he's got high defense, but just enough HP to take special attacks, right? Just enough. He's 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 built he's built to 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 click buttons go burr. Um, and I do think it is interesting that we got bulky. We're we're reverting back to bulky. Um, we're reverting back to fast flutter main, and then other bulky things are getting fast as well. It's predator pl prey relationship chart. <laughs> There are, I'm I'm glad Flutterman is not getting touched super like and, and like it's not developing in different ways than we've seen. Like uh, you're either specs or your speed booster. No. <laughs> timid speed like timid booster. speed booster call mind my detested no, that's not, okay. You need to understand, Ash, that that is exclusively the wolf team. I know, but I hate it. No one else is doing that. I didn't realize team. that that's what it was. I saw Fluttermane yeah. on the wolf team, and I go, "Oh, Fluttermane! It's just a Fluttermane!" And then I got rolled by it. It's like I didn't know this existed. No one told yeah, me that about was this. Literally, you got you got caught with the you went to school that week. Like, yeah, literally, literally. <laughs> that one's not on you. 
So sad. Oh, but but school's awesome because um, they're one of one of my friends there made stickers, and so I'm now looking into making stickers. So similar to what MJ did, if anyone goes to LA regionals, I might have some sneebs to hand out. Oh hell yeah! I hope I hell I hope yeah. I can do that. Hell yeah, those are super. Mm-hmm. Giving out stickers at events is. I love giving people shit. Favorite. It's like one of my favorite things to do for Pokemon. I have. I love that shit. I have in my wallet still. You know those like vending machine stickers you can get of Pokemon cards, and they were like really shitty quality and like had some kind of hollow over them. And yeah, I think I do know what you're talking someone, about. Someone, someone, either from their work or like they bought them off of eBay or something. They had like a whole stack, and so here, here in the here in the low tables. In the in the X and three tables, this made me so happy because I was feeling so sad about doing bad. But everyone in lower tails tables doesn't care, so they're always talking and and stuff. They, he just started handing him out to like everyone around him. Got a sticker, um, and so I have a grass type Golbat with two hundred HP uh, and a five hundred damage attacking move <laughs> with hearts grass on it. Golbat. Grass Golbat, grass Golbat, ECG things. I, I love I love handing out stuff. It's so fun. I love giving presents. We love presents. For real. Present. I need to. I might be a, oh, sorry. Might be at might be at NAIC this year. I'm looking to <gasps> give, give out like more than just stickers. Ugh. NAIC is. Uh, oh yeah, you were talking about that. Ooh. NAIC yeah. is in June, right? Or yeah. Okay. June. Never mind. I'm not gonna be able to go. Sad face. Um, but New Orleans. Oh yeah, it's in New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans, an actual good city in the United States with interesting things to do. Damn, that's crazy. In a good month because I'm not in school too. <laughs> well, it is. It is gonna be um, Southern United States in summer, which is going to suck. Uh, hey, but is- it's New Orleans. You can't. It's New Take Orleans. It. That place is awesome. I've never been, but I know it's awesome. Take it. New Take it over Orleans. Rainy. Huh? I'll take it over oh. raining. <laughs> I, I yeah. no, I will take raining over humidity. I will take cold rain over humidity every every mm. day of the week. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Californian, that's a you thing. <laughs> I, I know, I know, it's a me thing. I fucking hate humidity. <laughs> I need my dry <laughs> air. Belly. I need my Belly. dry, nice, my dry heat. I'll take my dry heat because the ocean, the ocean's there, guys. Just go to the ocean. It is crazy to me. I was giving directions to somebody, uh, or I was looking up directions somewhere in LA, and I saw Bel Air, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like the Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Your most Californian moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's 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 interesting. Um, we've also been having earthquakes here, so our Lord and Savior Groudon may emerge from the crust once again. Uh, his his legend was foretold. Lord and Savior. Yeah, we love that what guy. My goat. What? What are you Big talking Grodon about? Thing. That guy, Lord like Bird. Bird kills people. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> like most people. <laughs> hey, don't be, don't be wrapping Kyogre or Groudon. So, Bird, so does, so you... does God, bro. What? <laughs> no, he God doesn't do shit. People. He created the world of adept. <laughs> I think his oh atrocities are God, funny. That's funny. I think his that's atrocities so are funny. funny. You see, you see the f- the fucking the what is it? The Pokemon like Origins or whatever the, the, the yeah, anime he series kills Archie. Yeah, like yeah. If 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 Archie or Maxi succeeded, we'd all be dead. Like, oh yeah, it, it's well, that was their it's, fault. Yeah, it's it's their fault. But like the. Uh, don't don't act like Kyogre and Groudon would just fucking end everything if it wanted to on a whim. Well, they don't wanna. Dude, Gra- <laughs> don't 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 guess Groudon. He killed people. <laughs> yeah. <so> funny to <laughs> me. Not just he murdered. Killed? Not just killed. Murdered. murdered literally murdered, murdered women. People. He Groudon murdered, murdered women, guys. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the second we get restricted format, I'm gonna start talking shit like this. I'm gonna be like. I fuck with uh, Karidon. I fuck with Maridon. Groudon, Kyogre? No, they literally killed people. Well, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I don't fuck with uh, Ky- uh, Karidon or Maridon either. They they killed the the professor. Spoilers. Yeah, they yeah. did. They did. did. They did. They literally what? killed Wait. person. Yeah. Am I forgetting something about Scarlet and Violet? Karidon yeah, the and reason, Maridon the re- each have a kill. Uh, um, the reason. Uh, the reason. Three. 
Why that? Oh, sorry, Ash. I came with interrupting. No, um, no, I was, I was, I'm doing a bit. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the the reason why the original professors died was because they were trying to stop a fight between the two different, like, because there's two Crydons and two Maridons. They were trying mm. to stop a like a territorial fight and then got killed. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. fuck. Yeah. This, this guy doesn't a... remember I... Pokemon stories. Point no, I lost. didn't. I played it two years ago. <laughs> Point of... Yeah, so you don't remember Pokemon stories. That's, I just love. said, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, point in love. <laughs> it's it's okay, crazy. Give me this is restricted the first... without a body count. <sighs> this, is the, this is the first game with confirmed Pokemon kills. I think that's hilarious. Dialga, Pokia. Um, oh, never mind. Yeah, Dialga and Pokia. Did they? Well... Thank Legends you, people. Arceus. Thank you, people. Did they kill yeah, They wanted to. They were yeah, about to. No, they, they were gonna. <laughs> they were gonna, but they you, didn't. You almost get killed by Kiram, but then he doesn't because he's awesome. True. He's a cool little dinosaur. Kiram um, almost kills you. Zekrom, Zekrom oh, and Zekrom. Are, yeah, Reshiram and Zekrom are like the heroes. Those are like the, the best of them. Right? Yeah. Funny, yeah. Funny, too, because they're definitely the worst <laughs> <laughs> of the restricted. Mewtwo, Mewtwo has definitely killed some people. Does Ho Ho have a? Oh yeah, De Mewtwo definitely killed someone. Does Ho Ho have negative kill count because it revived? Yeah, I was gonna say he definitely did the opposite. That's yeah. <laughs> Ho Ho's up there. Negative Ho, -Ho, -Ho yeah. has like yeah, it's like you have a kill loss ratio and Ho is his negative one, <laughs> negative yeah. three actually because he revived the other dogs. dogs. Yeah. We need a. We need. That's funny. We need Galar Lugia and Paradox Ho Ho. And Paradox Ooh. Kill Dio. Ooh, that'd be sick. I've seen uh, some fan art of those. I don't think we'll ever get forms of Pokemon, like, legendary Pokemon that old, but I think it could be really neat. I mean, unless yeah, there's there's remakes. Oh my They'll god. They'll probably keep them sacred. Poor, poor, poor official Pokemon advertising group tweeted about, tweeted photos of Reshiram and Zekrom today on both <laughs> Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> And that was their worst mistake because now black and white remakes is trending. Why would they do that? They tweeted, I mean, they tweeted pictures of Rayquaza like last week. I looked, you know, nothing, of course, because it's Rayquaza. But as soon as it's black and white, guys, oh my God, guys, oh my God, black and white remakes. When has Pokemon ever hinted about anything on fucking Twitter? Never. Uh, <laughs> Scarlet and Violet? Huh? Yeah. Remember what? the thing that every on like every social whenever there's like a whenever Pokemon Day is like coming up and they've got like a new generation like set to come out they do like a a count up they count up from gens one to the current gen and then oh it's Pokemon Day what are we gonna reveal oh we're revealing Scarlet and Violet Woo! but hold on hold on I'm scared they were definitely putting they were definitely putting little like red and purple emojis in, in their posts before Scarlet by the were they? did I just block yeah, that out that okay maybe I just blocked they were definitely it out. doing that shit. but okay so never mind never mind <laughs> it's it's I don't know what phenomenon we want to call this because it's like everybody talking about black and white re remakes is already like why are, like you know what's happening you don't need to act surprised yeah <laughs> you know what I mean like it's it it is the release schedule. It makes a lot of sense. It's mm -hmm. not like it's like, was this really like a surprise to anybody? You know what yeah. I mean? Is this really worth talking about? Like it's like it, it it's gonna. Oh be... my god! It's reveal. It, they revealed it. It's like, dude. Okay, they revealed it like fucking thirty years ago when they set their content schedule. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Here? I don't know. I, so, I I know that there's gonna be a lot of haters and a lot of. Uh, not haters when it comes out or when it's revealed or whatever happens. Like, people are going to be mad regardless if it's revealed or not, and the people are going to be mad at whatever it looks like regardless. So, no, um, I don't care. Uh, Victini. Thumbs up. We get to Ooh. see Victini again. I like Victini. That's sick. Victini in an accessible manner? In an accessible manner? <laughs> at a reasonable price. <laughs> at a reasonable price. <laughs> I, I thought that too. I didn't mean to say that. Like that's not where my and head went, but that's where my head went after I said it. I was same, like, <laughs> say, same brain cells. The image of SpongeBob and Patrick, like yeah, and like squished. Yeah, I feel like squished Patrick right now. Yeah, filthy <laughs> acts at a reasonable price. At a reasonable price. <laughs> uh, okay, that's awesome. That's cool too, because like I mean, Mel Meloetto, we were able to get in this mm -hmm. game. Question mark. 
that shit Victini was so funny. Able to be caught in the next game. Like we're coming up on the ability to get really like everything in Pokemon Home on the Switch. That's pretty cool. I hope I hope it I hope it continues like that as well. Um just Do you think it's possible through uh hold on, what would it be? It would be let's go Pikachu Eevee. Uh Sword and Shield. Uh Scarlet and Violet. Legends Arceus. And then black white stuff, anything that happens. That's like about five different regions. Yeah. I think Do you think it's possible to get all of the Pokemon? Probably. Black and white might uh, it, whatever whatever new game will probably clean up the rest of the Pokemon that we're missing cuz it's only like I know it's the elemental monkeys and I'm sad about that cuz I love them. I know it's Watchhog and uh Patrat and I know it's um Furfru is also has also been banned. Um like so if black and white adds Furfru, I think that's everybody, but I think there's also a couple um uh other ones that I can't, I'm not remembering. It's it's Pat it's Pat Rat, Watchhog, Pan Sage, Pampaw, Pan Seer, Semi Semi Paw, mm -hmm. uh Semi Sif and Furfru. Is it really it just was, them? Before it was it had many R as well, but mm -hmm. um but yeah, otherwise it's it's just those ones. I forget. We gonna um, freak the fuck out if whatever uh trailer for the non remake of the game comes out like like I don't know Legends Black White whatever that means yeah. to you uh if if they've got fur fur in the trailer if they got fur fur <laughs> in the trailer we're set it. it's like, we're set baby let's go fur 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 definitely feels like the harbinger of the oh my god it's here you can catch all Pokemon on the Switch <laughs> you know what I mean like that because. I think we've got all of them covered. Like yeah. some of the Sun Moon ones, I'm thinking over like the Tapus, but you can get that in Dynamax Adventures yep. and Sword Shield. So, yeah. my my kind of hope that got kind of smushed when we started getting updated 3D models. Thank God we did. But what I was expecting was at when they revealed, oh, Sword and Shield has fewer Pokemon because we just didn't code them in slash program models for them. I was thinking like. Oh, so we're gonna keep making more games, and then as we make more games, we'll expand the Pokedex, and then eventually we'll have a game where all the Pokemon are usable. Now that we have all these updated models, I'm a little bit worried because there's now another handful of Pokemon that need new models. Hopefully that's something that's being worked on, please. The only reason I want national decks to exist is so I can make a dream team. I have a I have a very specific dream team in mind of various slugs and goopy guys that I cannot make because they're just not all available in the same games. It makes me very sad. Um, but one day, hopefully. Melmetal is forever trapped in Sword and Shield, and then Alola Muck is trapped in uh, Scarlet and Violet. They can never meet. My favorite goops can never hold hands. It is so sad. So tragic. <laughs> one day. I'm excited. I'm really hoping for for Fru in a trailer sometime soon, and I think we will get that potentially. Yeah, as Pokemon Day is coming up. Yeah, next time we record, um, Pokemon Day is it the thirteenth? Am it's I crazy? I was very off. What is the thirteenth? The day before Valentine's Day, I guess. I I guess <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm insane. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna have a couple weeks. Um, I guess once it gets closer, we'll probably discuss. If anything gets hinted at, I doubt there will be any leaks besides people on Reddit claiming their dad from Nintendo gave them the full video. Um, yeah. But but I don't know. I'm I'm Is excited. I'm I'm kind of hoping for like a bunch of mobile ads and then one console game. I don't want a new generation yet. I do not. <laughs> oh, we're not getting a new generation. No way. No how. Uh, yes. I I think um this is like the filler year where we get like remakes and like alternate remake stuff, which is, like, insane to say, considering that Scarlet and Violet came out two years ago. Um, <laughs> well, not even two years ago, like, a year ago and a bit. Um, I think this year is, like, the, the BDSP slash uh, Legends of Arceus year, and then we get a new yeah. generation the year after, like, 2025. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very curious. After this, I'm gonna go look at the uh, Pokemon Presents for the when Legends Arceus was revealed. Yeah. Did that come at the same time as uh, BDSP? Yes, they both got revealed. Was that the same, the same direct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Um, then that's probably what's going to end up happening, I think. Yeah, I think um I think it'd be a good idea to like do like a like a predictions thing next episode because like that's there's sick. so like much in idea. the air. Like we could just get like black white slash black white two remakes or even just black white remakes, no black white two, and then like get like a legends game or something. Like mm -hmm. I, I I've been rapping like we get black white three, like black white three would be cool. Any like if we just get black white three, just a pure sequel, no remake needed. That would be really cool. Um, a lot of the rumors have been it'll be in the future, um, which would could be a Legends game, could be a third game that could also that could all be very cool. I wouldn't call that a rumor; much more like a like thing that people want. Yeah, but I'm with them in wanting it because I do think it makes sense. Well, I've seen. I think someone was like, uh, someone was trying to justify it where it's like, uh, PLA Legends Arceus game that takes place in the past. Yep. Scarlet um, Violet game that is about the past and the future game that comes out after Scarlet Violet, similar to PLA, mm -hmm. is in the future because PLA was in the past. You yep. know what I mean? Like that. that, that that'd be kind of sick. I've been yeah. This. Yeah, and I love that. I fucking I am all on I that. Like I'm down to bandwagon that because like, like think about how much sense it would make, dude. We just got a whole bunch of like newer characters that are younger, uh, and like related to old parts of the game. See, very which is exactly game. what. Yeah, right. We could see them in the future, and it, it would feel like the exact same thing, but like inverse of what seeing the characters in PLA was like with like Adamin and like uh, oh. Arazu, and how it's like, oh, I know who you are in modern day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like now, you, like that'd be we, it'd be the same shit, but backwards. It's so cool. Yeah. I, oh, I want that. And we've got that. that you know we got so that with cool. the kids. It's awesome. What's up? You know, what'd be yeah. so cool if there was like an ancestor of like Carmine and Kieran as your like rival. Oh, so cool, that would be really cool. Like, have that be like our rival, or like? Wait, no. the 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 ancestor of Carmine and 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 Kieran would be the mask maker. If we go, if uh, sorry, ancestor. If we if we did went into the past, it would be the mask maker who made the mask for Ogre Pond. If we go far into the future. It could maybe maybe we could pull that back again, like some kind of connection to Ogre Pond or the the Loyal Three or something, or maybe yeah, even just the Mochi. Mm. Uh, I was I was gonna say this earlier. Speaking of people who've killed people, Ogre Pond. Yeah. <laughs> Ogre Pond definitely. Oh, Pe yes. Petronant is responsible for multiple deaths. Petron is responsible for a lot. However, I love Petron. <laughs> Petron's just a little guy. He's just a little baby. He didn't mean it. I <laughs> love. It. I love it so much. I love how he looks. I love his cry. How it's like. Bwah, bwah. It's so cute. I love it. Bwah, bwah. And then he has a little I, pop. I will throw him against the wall, and it will make a big wet <laughs> sound. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh no! I had this Petron plushie that I would fill with but milk I and slam milk. it. <laughs> slam it against the wall. <laughs> Might be a picture of plush eventually. We've <gasps> they like shadow dropped the yeah. ogre pond and Tarapagos. Have, so like, have you I seen the ogre pond merch? Have you seen? There's little keychains, and it's two keychains where the mask and the body is separate, so you can swipe Aww, the mask awesome. up and see your little face underneath. It's so cute. I I got so the sick. I got the ogre pond plush as a Christmas gift from my younger brother. Yay. That's on its way. I'll be getting it next next week. She must sit on your shoulders as you game at locals. Yeah, I'm so sad. <laughs> Good luck. That thing's huge. I I wanted to um, I wanted to like wear like a Glamora themed fit to the regional, which I sort of oh. half did. Um, I had like a blue like a blue skirt and then uh like black top, and then I had my 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 glasses on, which were yellow, like the yellow oh, like tinted oh. lenses. Oh, that's um, so cool! I love that. Um, but on the way with my Ergopon merch, I have like Glamora like earrings, um, <gasps> that like sort of come out in like a blossom sort of thing, and then I also had like the keychain you can get of like Glimlet and Glamora, and I was gonna oh! like put that on a on like a chain and then wear it, so it was like it's it's obvious what I what I am sort of thing. Um, oh, but... the Glamora fit. 
Neither, more if it go hard. Neither of those uh, came, sir. I might. Uh, <laughs> neither of those came yet, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, so well, that might be something in the f in the in the future. I mm -hmm. I show up to Pokemon tournaments in the Glamour of it. Yes, I show up to Pokemon Sorry. tournaments with my Furgaref hoodie, even if I'm not running Furgaref. <laughs> yeah. It's very Me, awesome. I look like Incineroar at my locals. You look like Incineroar, <laughs> you built to see you all at the same nope. time, and that's awesome. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. 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 Death. Yep. What? Hammers. Nope. I'm going Death? to media beam. What? Yeah. Tiger. Media beam. I, I, that is, that is. <laughs> I got hit with media beam? Wow. And I, I had super effective too. I'm I, 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 can, need, I can, I can media need... beam. Just like how Michael has a picture of him as Ashian in his header, we need, we need Balin Glamora, and now we need, uh, Incineroar. Michael, and then we need, I don't fucking know, Wo Chen Marcos <laughs> or Ting Lu Marcos. It's it it's uh, you know that one. It's the same concept of the meme of the guy with the big thumbs up finger talking to some random, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but have you seen the version of it where he's like shooting something out of his hand <laughs> and like <laughs> disintegrates the guy? And, that's that's Balin with meteor beam. <laughs> it's it's like uh, you say like meow and then I. Do <laughs> yeah. uh, like we were talking about uh like how i can like air dash because like celeste and stuff um mm -hmm. the non-binary equivalent is you have save files um because of <laughs> Delta Rune and Undertale. Undertale. um that's just another one of the the trans, <laughs> trans women can use media beam <laughs> Fucked up. Trans women can use meteor beam. Holy shit. We need to get you mental herbs. I or, think. Or red herbs. Power herbs. I think, Ash, you should be able to use meteor beams as well. Women can use meteor beams. Women can use meteor beam. So, so, so can MJ. Wait, sorry. MJ can do it as well. If, if, if they so decide. But I smoked the power herb, so I couldn't <laughs> use it. I am, I'm waiting two turns you on this. You need a waited turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Charging oh, my attack. Charging my attack. <laughs> Women can use the become curse of her. <laughs> <laughs> Real! Real, bro, I want to use the Mankak... 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 Special beep cannon. <laughs> yeah. I want to use the Mankak... Special beep cannon. Wait, but there's no, uh, it, it, there's no female Namekians, unless they are all female and we've just been calling them the wrong pronouns, that'd be fucked up. I, I think, mm -mm. I think Piccolo knows how to use the Macon Curse of Curve, but not other people, other yes. Namekians. I think that's a, a Piccolo special. And Piccolo Gerhan. Sp you could call it a, a, spe a, spe a special yes. beam, oh, oh. special beam cannon. Yeah. And you know why they call it Tachyon Cutter? I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. <laughs> uh, update on the uh on the the DQ stuff, by the way. Uh, uh Knoxville has not been great. It's developing. We've seen two people um get DQ'd. Uh Brian Brian Yum uh and I forget their name, but Eric Rios retweeted them. I'm going to find out what their name is. But that's a thing that's happening, and we'll probably just talk about that more Eric next Bel week. A Eric Belady? Belady? Eric. Eric also Eric. got DQ'd. A Eric. It is Eric. Okay. Yes. Um, Eric retweets Eric. Yes. So Real recognize real. Also... Uh, you know, last last episode we were talking about, you know, it would be really nice if we could, like, hack check our Pokemon before the tournament so we wouldn't get DQ'd in the middle of it. Uh, both of them got DQ'd after finding out they made day two. They finished the tournament for the day after playing nine fucking rounds and were told that they cannot play day two, uh, despite making it. So, that's fun. Uh, uh we will continue to advocate for hack checks. <laughs> I will continue to advocate for judges. Please, for the love of God, tell us how you do help uh, hack checks. Please, we just want to make sure our team's illegal. My my favorite uh, interesting tidbit, real quick, was that Eric was told to, to quote his tweet. BTW, the head judge recommended that I check my mons in a quote external program to see what might have been flagged. The judge has no other way to help this person know if they're why their Pokemon are hacks without using PK Hex, an illegal program made by a third so party. Great. We love it. So they don't know. 
They don't hey. know. They don't are fucking they know. Using, <laughs> are they using PK Hex? Maybe that they was are. My first thought as well. They maybe they Which are. Is like ultimate cringe, if if true. Yeah. Oh. Uh. At, at, okay. Well, that's a conversation for later because I feel like we probably have Marcus' insight on it. I. Mm -hmm, I. Because he's uh, there. And it it just kind of sucks because like Brian Newham is a. Uh, like is saying yeah I'm, I'm i'm not gonna play the game for a while and yeah. like dipping off of twitter and stuff and that's always sad to see mm -hmm. um to be so discouraged i would be discouraged too if i made day two and they walk up to me and say the team that you thought was perfectly legit uh has packed pokemon and we're disqualifying you i would be fucking heartbroken i i totally get it shit sucks cool. like but I don't want to end. I don't want to end on the most depressing note. <laughs> yeah, I, it, yeah, it's fucked up. But... So let's talk about our Patreon. True. <laughs> and also, Marco's getting day two. Um, I guess this will be up, you know, after the regional. So we don't currently yeah. know. Uh, but uh, Marcos wins. By the way, I saw the future. Dub. <laughs> I just imagine Ash, but she's doing like the the guy levitating a pizza. Oh hers. yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fisher. <laughs> I don't think his team has Fisher. <laughs> okay, is it? I was gonna say, does it? Because if it does, then like, I hell don't think yeah. it. I don't think it does. <laughs> uh, Tinglu will yeah, land stopping tantrum. <laughs> yeah, I I believe. Uh, if this is the part where we thank our Patreon, Patreon subscribers, uh, such as Crazy Carlton, Shrev. Elton Allen, Billy Cridilly, Kibbs McGibbs, Plummer, Professor Germs, Ryan, and Upsmash, as well as everybody else. Thank um, you, guys! Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Comment, I guess, because this is gonna come out after, comment what your favorite match was, or, like, your favorite team that you saw. Something wacky, because all these, there's there's so much stuff going on. I watched Iron Jugulus, I watched Suicune, I watched all sorts of stuff. What What's your Iron favorite, what? what's your favorite team right now? Because they're all over the Iron place. what? <laughs> Wugulus. But the Iron Jugs! You don't know about the Iron Jugs? Wugulus. He's made of I steel. Can't, I can't believe MJ made for- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put that in at the end. If, if you yeah. stuck around at the end, you That's get to see there. the image of, of me media, media beefing <laughs> MJ to fucking death. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is beautiful. I love it. The flannel and everything. The hair. The skirt. Oh, this is perfect. This is awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be catching you next time, hopefully with Marcus. No regionals this next weekend, I believe, sir. So I have a up. local, but not a regional. I have a local as well. Yippee! <laughs> That's going to be a nightmare to organize. Goodbye, It'll be everybody. Fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hope you Bye. Bye. <laughs>